Welcome back. This weekend's number one movie helped Marvel's movies reach a new milestone, but does it live up to all the hype? With your Monday movie preview, here's Matt Peering. Welcome to another Monday. Well, this weekend blew the lid off of last weekend, but is that a surprise at all, considering that we had a Marvel movie opening? Which, by the way, absolutely killed it here and overseas. I also took in a film with a little Oscar buzz that was only showing in 659 theaters around the country, and one of them happened to be here. So without any further ado, of course I'm going to give you my take on Thor Ragnarok, but at the end, I'll throw in just a couple of thoughts on LBJ. Our film begins with Thor being reprised by Chris Hemsworth. He has gotten himself captured to gather some information. He learns that Ragnarok, the end of all things, is coming to Asgard. After escaping and reuniting with Loki, who we believe dead, the pair go to find their exiled father. They learn that with his leaving, their sister Hela, played by Kate Blanchett, now has the power to return and take over Asgard. They have a brief confrontation with her where Thor's hammer is destroyed, and in a fight on the way to Asgard, Thor and Loki are thrown out of the Bifrost, only to find themselves captured in a new world, led by the Grand Master master, played by Jeff Goldblum. Thor is forced to compete in a fight for his life and finds his opponent to be the Hulk who has been missing since the events of this second Avengers. At first excited to see his friend, Thor realizes that there's not a lot of Bruce Banner in there. After the fight, Thor struggles to be able to get Bruce back so they can make their escape and head to Asgard to stop Ragnarok. The pair make several new allies, and once again, for better or for worse, they team back up with Loki, who earns his title God of Mischief. They manage to find a ship and make an exciting trek back to Asgard. Upon arriving, they find that Hela has been having her way with her old home. She has wiped out most of the army. The citizens have gone into hiding, and she has created a new army of her own from previously dead soldiers. Time is running out for Asgard, and Thor must figure out how to stop his sister before Ragnarok takes full effect. With plenty of action and laughs, we wait to see how our heroes will prevail. So, what to say about this one? Is there anyone out there who is an MCU fan that thought this would be anything but spectacular? The movie is visually stunning and constantly on the upswing. It brings in cameos from other Marvel characters and pokes fun at the Avengers left and right. What I thought was fascinating was that 80% of the dialogue is improvised, which really gives Chris Hemsworth an opportunity to flex his comedic muscles. Although this does lead me to one of my two criticisms, the MCU is great for comedic timing, something the DC movies haven't quite nailed yet, but this film goes just a little overboard with the comedy. Don't get me wrong, a lot of it really lands and you find yourself laughing out loud many times throughout, but I just wish they had cut back on it just a little. My second critique is very small and nothing to even think twice about, but Hela is supposed to be the daughter of Loki, not their sister, but like I said, no big deal. The movie is so much fun to watch, with a good bit of setup for the upcoming Infinity Wars. You are definitely not going to be disappointed. The entire journey is exciting and fun, from the opening minutes to the two end credit scenes. Now for a quick look at LBJ. This film was actually fascinating in that we've seen all kinds of things surrounding JFK and his assassination, but we've never really seen the action surrounding Lyndon Johnson. It was interesting seeing how he got to where he was and his actions in the aftermath of being forced into the presidency. Between the glass castle and this role, Woody Harrelson is having an amazing year, and I'm pretty sure this one will land him an Oscar nomination. As for the film, if it gets the best picture nod, I'll be telling you all about it come Oscar time. For now, just know that it's a very interesting movie to watch, and I'm glad I took it in. This has been your Monday Movie Musing. Back to you.